Welcome doctor to Next Generation Chiropractor. My name is Dr. McNamara and to tie in with today's blog post about administrating your particular Facebook fan page I just wanted to give a very quick screencast on how that's possible. But before we jump over to the actual control panel that allows you to manage your fan page I wanted to introduce you to a particular resource on Facebook that you can constantly turn to for very up-to-date information on how to use your fan page. If you go over to facebook.com forward slash Facebook pages you will see this resource here and right now I'm on the resources tab and you see underneath the resources tab they've got all kinds of information based off of building a presence on Facebook, creating a Facebook page, tips and best practices, examples, additional resources. In, in other words, they'll show you brands, local businesses, and nonprofits that are using Facebook fan pages very successfully. So you can get an idea of how they're engaging their audience. There's also a place here that gives you more resources for applications and features, as well as spreading your message through your Facebook fan page. And Facebook so far has provided some very cool tools for you to mass distribute your, your content and your message through the Facebook fan page. Now with that said, I just want to reiterate, remember that your blog is going to be the, the hub of all your online activity. Now I don't believe that Facebook is going to go away anytime soon. I mean, come on, it's the number, number two visited website in the entire world. but you still need your presence online. You need a piece of the pie, so to speak, that you control, and your blog is that piece of pie. Now, you leverage the power of these social media networks to drive traffic to your site, and that doesn't mean that you ignore your Facebook fan page. You want to make sure you customize it, and there's a seamless integration between how your site looks and what you're promoting in the design of your Facebook fan page. But the main point is this, make sure you stay control, in control of your piece of pie by having your own blog online where you can connect these social media networks to drive traffic to that site from. Well, let's go ahead and look at the Facebook fan page administration panel. And for you to be able to see this, first of all, you've got to be logged into Facebook. You need to go over to your fan page and right below the actual image or fan page logo you'll see a hyperlink that says edit page. Go ahead and click that and it'll take you right into the Facebook fan page administration control panel and as you can see already it's much more simpler to navigate through. They moved everything over to the left hand sidebar and put all the information that you need to get to front and center very high up in the browser instead of having to scroll endlessly to the bottom to make these type of changes. But here you can change the permissions of your fan page, change basic information, profile picture, marketing, manage your administrators, add additional applications, connect a mobile device to update your fan page from, get specific insights of how many people are visiting your fan page on a weekly basis and so forth, and then there's a nice little pages help link as you see right here which is much needed in the past you had to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page on the right hand side of the bottom of the page and click on the help hyperlink that was at the bottom of the page so they are making this easier for administrators and it truly is a breath of fresh air before I sign off today I wanted to point out one additional thing that is unrelated to today's uh, post but still very important. As you see up here, Facebook now has spam filtering and allows you to actually check your spam filter within Facebook. Posts likely to be spam appear here up in this section and you can re review, remove, or approve those posts at any time and you do that through your administrative control panel. So I hope this has been informative and I hope you'll go ahead and log in and check out the new control panel. If there's any additional thoughts or insights or questions that you have, please leave those for me in the comments sections below. 
Thank you for watching and have a great day.